Anyone would think we've got a new statue, but it's just Annie. Oh, she does move. She's busy enjoying the view this morning. What are you looking at, Annie? What have you spotted? No. Hey, Hole, we've got a new statue out here. Annie's modelling to be a statue. Dalton's scared to come out. Are you, Dale? How was it in with Annie last night? Did she let you have any of the haylage? Bye. Hi, Annie. Are you going off with Dale now? Hey, Maybelline. Uh, no, she's gone. No, she's gone. You'll she's have to like, run after her now. They're running away from home. <laughs> hey, Ren. Did you have a nice sleep last night? You're she's gorgeous. Mabel sitting. Ren is Mabel sitting. Look, Dale, I think Dale's telling us something. She's in a ghost over there. <laughs> yeah, to those of you that didn't see Dale's in the advent calendar, she sees the dead. She sees the supernatural. That's why she's always got this slightly vacant, aloof look on her face. And she's always got her head in the air like that. It's because she's uh, looking at and communicating with the people on the other side. I think she's just running away from you. No, she's running away from you because you rode her last night and she doesn't want you to ride her. I did, but she was really good last night because I rode her in the dark. She likes being ridden in the dark. Ooh. Annie just wants more scratches after being peed on by Renska yesterday. She was really getting peed on and it's her own fault. She shouldn't have put her nose there. You know? Oh, um, your eyes don't look so bad this morning, actually. Oh, scratchies. So Dale's having a jumper on, but we can let her wander with Annie for a bit. Yeah. I do love these rugs. They've made such a difference to winter, haven't they? I know. Even my coats keep better underneath them. Because of the wickerwear lining here, they um, they don't sweat up underneath them like they do in a, in a, in a conventional turnout. Therefore, the build-up of grease doesn't come up in the lining, so their coats don't get as minging. Yeah. This is our Friday afternoon on the yard. The sun has come out. So we've got a whole menagerie of horses here. We've got Jim keeping guard there on the left, with Jody washing ice, washing his legs and his tail. A daily job. Hannes there having a little bit of a snooze. He's already had a clean up. And he's sniffing spur. And he's. She's sniffing <laughs> They're all, all the girls are quite hormonal at the moment. Yeah, and then my little pony's trying to get laid, but it's not working. He is, isn't he? So Prince is over there. Um, Nell is trying to keep him in order. Aren't you, Nell? It's all very confusing. There's just horses everywhere. Doubtson, who's been wandering around with Annie and Wren this morning. Annie's just being Annie. Wren is just loving everybody at the moment because she's in season so she's stood there behind Micah. Micah and Zhao, Hole's just brought them up so this is what they look like at the moment and they will look a lot cleaner in the next hour or so but we're going to do something that we don't get the chance to do very often at the moment but because the sun's come out and it's just been a very, very busy time. Jodie, Holt and myself are gonna go out for a nice little hack with Iceman, Hannes and little teddy bear over here, who he came in this morning because he was a little bit tired himself because the field's so wet, they're not really able to lie down and have a sleep. So he's had a nice little snooze this morning and he's not done anything for a while, only a little bit of groundwork occasionally. <laughs> Did my hand smell funny? Did it? 
Oh, he's a gorgeous boy. So yeah, we're gonna take them out. He just come in for another sleep. Your little floppy do. We've got rugs everywhere. And Mabel's on her second hay ball of the day. Anya! Oh, Anya's causing trouble out there. I think it started with a prince. Prince squeal. Unnecessarily aggressive. <laughs> She's just trying to she keep order on her yard because it's her yard and it's been invaded today. Prince, I think you're you're being told where to go. But you know that's that's unnecessary. It, well, no, it's not unnecessary because it's Anya explaining to him that he's not allowed to come in and and start being feral which is something that he has done over the years isn't it yeah but she does that to him anyway and also Renska wouldn't mind if he got feral with her so no that's know. true oh look he looks really put out now he is but it probably has brightened his day though what well just having them all around that's true oh he's so that's it. He's, he's, he's oh look home. oh he's like eeyore leaving home he is the ER. He is, isn't he? Yeah. Annie's very happy now. See, Annie, look what you've done. Well, she doesn't get to boss them around in the field anymore, so it's only right that she gets to boss them a little bit up here. Yes. 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 Right. right. Okay, let's go and do something constructive. The hack didn't quite happen, not with all of us. Um, Hull and Jodie have gone out with Iceman and Hunnis, but I've had to stay behind with little teddy bear. Hey, we had to come back, didn't we? So the reason was he'd been stood here for a little while having a clean up. And once we were tacked up, as I walked him away from the tie up points, I thought, oh, you're not quite right behind. And I took him over and I thought maybe just the cold and having stood there with wet legs for a little while, he was a little bit tight. So I hopped on him, but he just didn't feel, he didn't feel quite right. So I brought him back, hopped off him. And as soon as I got off, he lifted this back leg as if to say to me, this is the one that there's a problem with. And this is the downside of this kind of weather. They are very, very prone to getting abscess. You know that we, if you've watched some of the other videos, we've had a few with abscess over the last few months. And the fact that it's happened so quickly and he can't wait there, the likelihood is, is that he's got an abscess somewhere in the foot here that because it's trapped, it can't find its way out so it's putting pressure on which is why he can't wait bare so what i'll do now is get some hot water give it a clean up have a little poke around see if i can find any soft spots if i can't then i will poultice the whole foot to try and help draw the abscess out and then we've got chris back here uh, on monday and he will have a dig around to see where it is and try and release any pus that's in there. He'll stay in until then. So you can do a bit of Mabel sitting, can't you, sweetheart? And we can have extra cuddles, which is the nice thing. But some people say to give them a butte, but I don't like to do that because otherwise it masks the problem. And then you could suddenly think, oh, actually it's all fine. And then when the butte wears off, there's still the problem in the foot. We'll get that poulticed up now. I've got everything together for the poultice. So I've got here some animal lintex, which has this outer plastic lining. So this will go over the base of his foot under there and help to drain any pus in his foot downwards. This is boiling water. So I pop that in the boiling water because the hotter you can make it, the more it's likely to soften the hoof wall and allow that pus to drain down. Then I've got some Gamgee that I will just use for packaging it out and some vet wrap, which just coincidentally happens to be in his colors. 
And then finally, I've got a hoof boot that I'm just going to put on, which he could wear outside. But as, as you can see, he's so uncomfortable on it. It's going to be best to keep him in. The other thing that I will do beforehand, because I've cleaned it out now, is this is a syringe full of hydrogen peroxide, which is a really good thing that you can inject onto the foot or you can just pour it onto the foot. So this, as I say, this is a really common problem, um, abscess at this time of the year. And what I'm just gonna do is just clear around the white line here, because what happens is just round this edge here, you get tiny little bits of stone that can, and just little tiny granules that can go in through uh, the hoof walls. So you get these tiny cracks appearing. And what it does is, is that dirt and bacteria goes in there and infection sets in, which then results in a buildup of pus uh, that gets restricted obviously by this whole hoof cavity. And very often, you'll see the horse go suddenly lame, really extremely lame, that they look like they've broken their foot or broken their leg. And it can happen very, very quickly, which is why, because he was fine yesterday and then literally today he's hanging his head, leg in the air, I know that it's most likely to be an abscess. So I'm just putting this hydrogen peroxide round because that will help lift out any tiny little granules in any of the little cracks that are there. And you can see his, his frog is quite soft here already. So all that fizzing is a good sign that it's helping to lift out anything nasty that might be in there. And I actually think he's quite enjoying that because he's sort of resting on me now. Whereas a minute ago he was fidgeting. So when Chris comes along, he'll have the hoof, hoof testers and he'll press around the different parts of his foot to see where the pressure is. And by that and by watching his reaction, he will know where he needs to dig. But it's not something that I'm happy to do. Uh, I don't mind sort of scraping away a little bit of the excess that's around here. But I would far rather leave that sort of thing to Chris because he obviously is a professional but as I say he's here on he's here on Monday so he'll be able to find where this abscess is the other thing that you you tend to find all right sweetheart all right darling just pop it down just pop it down you tend to find that if you feel around here, you feel a raised, a raised pulse, because obviously when there's an abscess, it creates an extra blood flow. So you feel, and I can feel here, there's a bit of warmth and there's definitely an extra pulse there. So we'll get the hot, hot, hot poultice on. So I'll take that out and lay it. And the reason I'm poulticing the whole foot is because obviously I don't know where it is. So by going over the back of his heel, all the way around the foot, we've got the best chance of helping it draw out. So the plastic bit is on the outside because that's what helps it sweat. And I've got my bit of Gamgee. Place. Go around the back of the heel. So 
so it doesn't matter that it's there's still some of the water coming out of it because that dampness is going to help draw the abscess down. So this will need to be done again in 48 hours. And one thing I always like to check once I've put the bandage on, go darling, pop it down, is that it's not too tight on the front here. And if, if it is a little bit too tight there and you can't fit your finger in the front, then I just cut a little line down there so that it's not putting extra pressure on his coronary band. I'll just see whether we can get this boot on him now. I'm not actually quite sure whether this will fit him, but we'll give it a go. Come on, darling. Sometimes they're not the easiest things to get on. Let's pop that over there. And as you can see, this one is a bit worn. Actually, that's not gonna fit on him. So because he's not going back out in the field, I'm actually gonna leave him without the extra boot because he's gonna be in the dry in the stable. So it's not gonna come to any harm. And because I've got the extra padding on the bottom, he shouldn't wear through it too quickly. Good. You can feel that he's not quite straight again, but that's expected because he's got so much mount. Yeah. Um, but I would just focus on getting him. We we're just mostly walking, so it wasn't too high pressure, but just getting him walking, just flexing his neck each way and moving across because that's where he gets quite fixed, where he'll just fix to one side or the other because it's easier for him to to not be straight and balanced mm. and just sort of lean one way or lean on you. Yeah. So it's just it's just going back to that basic fitness regime with him of just getting out up and down the hills and getting him to balance himself and carry himself. Yeah, which we always get at this time yeah. of year because But he you seemed know. to really enjoy it. So yeah, did you good to make a start? Did you enjoy it as well? I did. Did you enjoy Hole's company? Yeah. We had a good chat. We were yeah. about various things. We've we've got plans. Have you? Yeah. We've always got plans, we yeah. just need to put them into action. I know. Yeah. <laughs> How was Hannes? He was good, yeah, yeah. You can definitely feel that he's just a bit unfit at the moment. Uh, but it's psychoid with him. It's getting that balance between picking him up but letting him stretch without just falling on his forehand because yeah. sometimes if you give him his head to stretch down, he then just... He just goes heavy on So on it's his like front. going stretch, stretch down but still balance yourself yeah it's, it is, it's always a balancing act with him yeah. because because obviously he can't sit back on his quarters for no. as, as, as long as a sort of fit healthy horse could well so I it's just think, doing yeah. little bits and pieces with him it's like chances are if you rode him like how you ride the others where you get them to pick them up and carry themselves properly all the time he gets He'd, very tired very quickly if i do yeah. that yeah and he get and it cripple him yeah it because it's like i was talking to jenny about it and i was like should it ever get to the stage where when i learn to do that and she, i i should do that and she was like no just ride him as you are because yeah. because um, he's just one just to yeah. potter around just to keep happy and yeah. keep a little bit of fitness there and keep exactly. him as loose as loose as you can so they're back and he's out of the turnout got dale and wren here ready to go back to the field and then because I couldn't do anything with Teddy Bear, I'm going to try and do a little bit of groundwork with Micah before we lose the daylight. Change of plan. It happens all the time around here. We're going to keep Hidder in for the night with Teddy Bear and Mabel. Because it's dry tonight, we're going to let Annie have a night out with all the other girls in the 14 acre. So I've got Dale, Annie and Wren back there because they're all quite hormonal they can all just love up with each other and Hidda won't get pestered lots oh it's so lovely when it's like this there's 
Obi-Wan and Nero as they came in yesterday. They've had a day out and with any luck with a few dry days now, some of this mud is going to get less soggy. Annie is funny because sometimes she really just doesn't want to come out and down the hill because of her wobblers. She does struggle walking down a hill sometimes. But when she's on a mission, she can forget about it and march out really well when she wants to. So I've got extra cream on her legs where she does get very sore, just to give her a little bit more protection. I think she's going to be very happy out with. Out with Dow, her wifey. And then, just following along behind. There goes Ren. Dow, are you coming in to join Niki News and Yodel? Annie, are you coming in? You want to go back out? Come on. Come and join the girls. You're going to have a beautiful night. I believe it's going to go down to freezing tonight. And how lovely to know that even though it freezes, this area is nice and safe for them around their haylage, rather than it getting all hard and uneven for them to stand on in the mud. That's good timing because that's Bailey's school bus on the way back. Hopefully he's had a good day at school. This is what I was talking about in the video I think yesterday or the day before. This field has a really good covering of grass so even though it's been really boggy you can see that it's still dry enough for them to lie down in if they want to without them having to sit in the mud there's noodles Look at their little eyes sparkling in the sunshine Annie and the other thing I love about this field, and about a lot of our fields, is the natural beck that runs through it. As you've seen in other videos, it does flood at times, but they've always got access to nice, clean, fresh water. Hey, Ren. And sometimes, They'll be down here, particularly when it gets a little bit milder, just splashing around and having fun in it, as Frisians love to do. <laughs> I was just coming out of the field and got picked up by Tamara, who's been in doing a bit of food shopping. I'm very upset with you. I know. Honestly, I was so looking forward to a blueberry muffin when you got back. I went to two Booth supermarkets and neither had blueberry muffins. I'm going to have to eat Bailey's now, aren't I? You are, yeah. yeah. However, I did substitute the muffins for two bottles of red wine for you. Oh, okay. I'll go with that because I've kind of moved on to red wine now for a little bit. Specifically Malbec. Yeah, but I probably shouldn't. Anyway. Right, I'm going to go and work Micah, as I wasn't <laughs> able to work Teddy Bear. Jail. 
the hay bar is looking a little worse for wear. But fortunately, Wendy and Steve very kindly said that they're going to come in next week and do lots of general repairs around the place for us. They've done quite a few things here already, including repairing our muck trailer, which was in dire need of help. And we're all very excited that they're going to be coming in next week to do a few more bits and pieces. Meanwhile, I've got the screwdriver here and I'm going to do a very quick short term fix on it. And then you're not allowed to rub your bottom on it anymore, Xiao. You? You're impressed with my quick fix, I aren't am. you? It's beautiful, you know. I could see you drilling and I thought just such beautiful technique with it. Do you think I should change my role and become a full-time maintenance person? Yeah, I think you should just be enough training the horses, doing all the admin fundraising and just drill things. Drill things? No, but this is Tamara's job. Tamara wants to be... What is that? Blueberry muffin. Oh, oh I love you. Have you got I told her off because well? she didn't get any from, from booths when she went there. She was supposed well, to get us all blueberry muffins. See, says she wants one. Oh, Xiao. Bless her. She can't have one though because she won't be very good on a sugar rush. Yeah, Bailey made them. They're not very sweet, but they oh, were okay. they were a good first effort for blueberry muffins, weren't they? Ooh. Would you like Sorry, us to I'm come and get them? The Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Is that because you don't want the mud? No, it's because I'm rush in a rush. Yeah, if you'd seen what she'd just been doing, you'd understand why her hands are filthy. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's four anyway, so there's only three of us in there. Also, Zhao can have a muffin. She could do. Zhao, do you want a muffin? Do you want a blueberry muffin? I'll just leave them. Blueberries are good for them. Yeah. Okay. Don't mess with the drill, because tomorrow won't be happy. Okay. Let's see what you think of a blueberry muffin. I'm going to tell Bailey that you spat it out. That's not a good advert for his baking. Bailey does make the best brownies. He perhaps needs to perfect his skill at, at blueberry hey, muffins. Do you want any more? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's what she thinks. Hey, Fesh, do you want another bit of your muffin? I think that's a no. What's in the dish? What's in the Yeah, yeah, do you want another bit? <coughs> Bailey, you've got your first bad review. You did have some more. Mm. Go on, give Bailey a review on his muffins, Hol. Yeah, I like that. I'd give it a solid ten. Yeah, actually, I've just had it. I had Johnny, one when you first made the them. Muffin! But definitely a couple of days later, they're There's really tasty. Aww, yeah. Meanwhile, Mike has pooed on the hose. Dirty girl. <laughs> Night, teddy bear. Night, Princicle. Night, Floppy Doo. Night, Maybelline. Night Hall. Night Tracy. This you look, I'm gonna use the Swede as my pillow. Your pillow? Yeah. Why would you use the Swede as a pillow? Well, because I'm going to bed now and I could use this for good night. Oh, I'm gonna take you home now. Are you? Oh look, your pony wants some loving. Oh cool. Uh oh. Look, look, look. Lurk. Can you not poo all through the barn tonight, Prince? <laughs> when did you do that? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> It all blends into one after a while. Well, at least he doesn't poo outside the friendship barn. Yes, he does. Oh, that was Annie. There were three poos out there the other day. You actually? can't tell me that that was all Annie. Yeah. No, I think he had something to do with it. I'm just back from dropping Hole home on my way up to see Bailey to cook him some dinner. What a nice way to end the day. I've just had a wonderful chat on the phone with our anonymous donor who I'm pleased to say is out of hospital, has cleared negative for COVID now, so on the road to recovery. They're absolutely adamant that we will get to the, the GoFundMe 20,000. So just as a little reminder, we've got till the 10th of January 
to get to that target and then I'm going to be taking you all out on a really lovely live hack uh, with Renska I think rather than Anya for a change so we'll go for Renska so hopefully we'll see you for the live hack then but in the meantime I'm sure there'll be other videos that we'll be posting over the next few days.